June 16 is commemorated as South Africa's Youth Day. It was on June 16, 1976 that South African students took to the streets of Soweto in South Africa to protest against the use of Africans as the medium of instruction in their education curriculum. Under white minority rule, the bloody uprising galvanizes the movement against South Africa's apartheid regime. The world watched in horror as the iconic picture of the 14-year-old Hector Peterson splashed across the front pages of newspapers around the world, showcasing works of a brutal regime that would stop at nothing to kill its own citizens. The oil marketer who partook in the sting operation that netted Mr. Farouk is also under intense heat from Nigerian citizens as they are largely suspecting that Mr. Farouk was set up so that a larger fraud of 6.8 billion subsidy fund stolen by oil marketers will be buried by Mr. Goodluck Jonathan's regime. The story has been all over the news and one of the writers who has been following the story is joining us today. We have Mr. Eni Eckhart. He is a political reporter for Nigeria's Premium Times and he has been following the story and he is here joining us in Nigeria via telephone. He also believes that uh, Farouk Lawan did not act alone. Uh, I think that should mean, or should imply that maybe there were kind of uh, backers in the house. Uh -huh. And of course, we do know uh, the, the House of Representatives here has been dealing with corruption and uh, scandals like that in the past. So it wouldn't be surprising to you know to, to know if there is anything like that beyond Farouk. Maybe there could be any other support. I am Jerry Mbure. So we are still speaking on the South African Youth Day. With me in the studio, I have Studuzo Kambili. He is a choreographer and he is also a radio host. And I have Christine Vandalis. You're a musician, right? Yeah. Yes, she is a musician. <laughs> we are going to have them speak to us about what it means and we are going to get deep into knowing what are the issues that are facing the youth in South Africa. Our question for the show for today is, is the three million dollar bribery scandal involving lawmaker Farouk Lawan a distraction from the 6.8 billion dollar fuel subsidy fraud? Ibrahim Ahmed says yes it is a distraction. Dave Bajani disagrees and says it is not. It has only revealed how deep and cancerous corruption has become to the system. Even their actions do not come out genuine because they are left with no option than to do so because it is exposed. Miss Faith Omolara Silver says it is a distraction of the highest call. At times I weep for this country, Nigeria. The presentation of things most times in this country are pretty shameful, pure selfishness, and by no means dignifying. Ife Nwai Godfrey says the issue here is not distraction. Let us face the real issue. Corruption is corruption. Stealing is stealing. Bribery is bribery. Whether Farouk was set up or not. The truth is that the man has committed collecting money from Otedola. We should all be ashamed of ourselves. Even the House of Reps are confused. They are clapping their hands in the midst of evil.